pressure drop in a gas container having a small leak. A thin walled vessel of volume V kept at constant temperature T contains a gas which slowly leaks out through a small hole of area A. The outside pressure is low enough so that the leakage back into the vessel is negligible. Estimate the time required for the pressure in the vessel to decrease to half of its original value. Express your answer in terms of A, V and the molecular speed, V bar. Now, uh, we know that this particle flux is, by definition, the number of particles that hit a unit area in units time. So it is 1 over A dn dt. And the, the number of particles is uh, changing. So if I, plus par if I um, define particle flux as a constant quantity, I need a minus sign here because delta n is, uh, if I call n the number of particles in the uh, volume, so this one is decreasing. So this particle flux we have seen is equal to 1 over 4 the number of particles per volume times V bar, which is 1 over 4 capital N divided by V, V bar. So uh, this minus sign comes from the fact that a uh, number of particles inside is decreasing. Therefore, d and dt is negative, and I have defined particle flux as a positive quantity. It's therefore 1 over 4, capital N over V, V bar, which is minus 1 over A, d and dt. So, uh, if I rearrange this equation, uh, minus 1 over A, d and dt is equal to 1 over 4v or let me uh, group these together the mean speed divided by 4 times the volume times capital N so uh, if I take n to the left hand side I would get dn over n with a minus sign this will be equal to um, a v bar divided by 4v. Now I'm going to integrate this, uh, there's the time delta t, from t initial to t final. So from initial to final. The initial configuration I have, let's say, capital N zero molecules inside. And finally, uh, the pressure in the vessel will decrease so that the number of particles will decrease to half of its value. And uh, why did I say that? Because uh, the ideal gas law, remember, is P bar is equal to N K T. So it is the number uh, divided by volume V multiplied by K T. Now I have a constant temperature T and all, I also have constant volume V, therefore, as N decreases, P bar decreases. So with these constraints, P bar is proportional to the number of particles. So P bar becomes P bar or P0 bar becomes P0 bar over 2 uh, implies if I have initial number of particles N0, they will become N0 over 2. So if I take this integral, I will obtain minus natural logarithm uh, n between n0 of, uh, and n0 over 2. Then here I will have a v bar over 4v times delta t, the time difference between t final and t initial. And this will be equal to minus natural logarithm n0 over 2. Uh, plus natural logarithm n0. So uh, this is once again a v bar over 4v delta t. So this will become natural logarithm n0 divided by n0 over 2. 
uh, which is natural logarithm 2 and that is a v bar over 4 volume delta t and therefore I can calculate uh, delta t to be this is my final answer now 4 v natural logarithm 2 divided by a v bar so it will be 4 v natural logarithm 2 divided by a v bar it's the time it will take to lose half of the molecules inside so that the pressure will be dropped in half at constant temperature and constant volume so once again i'm trying to find the time it takes for the pressure to decrease half its original value i called the original pressure uh, p0 final pressure p0 over 2 and using the ideal gas law pv equals capital n kt or p equals capital N kt over v v is the volume i find that at constant volume and temperature p bar is proportional to the number of particles inside so the number of gas molecules should decrease in half so that the pressure will decrease in half the particle flux it's the number of particles that hit a unit area in unit time is minus 1 over a dn dt by minus because the number of particles is decreasing in time so the dt is negative but i define particle flux as a positive quantity it is 1 over 4 number density times the mean speed uh, per molecule v bar so using this equation and rearranging uh, to isolate n on one side and time on the other side and integrating from initial time to final time uh, during which the number of particles decrease in half I find that the integral gives me natural logarithm of n uh, with a minus sign uh, so that is going to give me normally natural logarithm of 1 over 2 but because of the minus sign it becomes natural logarithm of 2 on the right hand side by integrating uh, so this should be uh, dt first which is integrated to become uh, delta t between t final and uh, t initial so uh, if i uh, take the parenthesis to the right hand side i find that uh, to the left hand side i find that delta t is 4v natural logarithm 2 divided by a v bar